Morning folks, welcome back to Monteith, Iowa. And April 2, here on this farm. Um, quad track's busy. Disking away in the big field here. More and more bringing up the creep feeder to these cows that are in this back pasture here, the north pasture. Um, they act, they've been acting like they're not getting enough feed, so we're gonna supplement a little bit of feed here in this creep feeder for them. A little bit of corn and some goodies for them for a bit. And then about nine o'clock this morning, we have a delivery that we have to be up at the shop for. Pretty exciting stuff. Something we've been working on getting done for a bit now, probably a few weeks now. So yeah, I'm excited to show you guys that. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, these guys, these girls are eating right through this grass, so I think putting this creep feeder out here would be good for them. So this might give it away, maybe what what's coming uh, today, but. Um, maybe you can spot a big yellow implement there. Um, got that delivered last night. Oof, man, it was late. Um, they were, they brought it in about 10, 20, 20, 20 or so. It was, it was late, but, uh, we got this delivered in the same people that are delivering the other piece of equipment um, today that they're coming at nine um, that one takes a little boy in a big old semi truck probably to haul in here so but yeah this uh, they brought this down last night this is kind of a package demo deal that we're gonna be able to uh, mess with this fall it's really exciting um these come from uh, western iowa equipment it is located kind of between fort dodge and sac city um pretty much directly west of fort dodge um in a little town called pomeroy so um that's about an hour and 25 minutes north of us pretty much directly north of us actually uh, we're west of Des Moines um, so um, this equipment dealership um, is northwest of Des Moines so, yeah so Western Iowa equipment appreciate that uh, demo they saw that one of our videos that we were talking about how with the new 24 row planter that we're not sure if we're going to be able to really keep up this fall so um and that's pretty much become true that's pretty much become true um we got these three field or four fields planted yesterday um and we're gonna get this one planted this morning this one did have the four dry in their last year, um, like I said, we're not going to be doing rye because we feel like we have plenty of hay down here in this hay ground that we can um, mow or cut. So um, if we need to, we can uh, ferment some bales here for in in this uh, south ground or south pasture ground there. So yeah, I mean this is going to take not very long at all um and hopefully the quad track will be done in this field um 
yeah, hopefully the quad track will be done in this field by the time we get this planted. Uh, I doubt we'll get to planting anytime soon. Hopefully, hoping to maybe start planting around noon. Um, but I kind of want to mess around with the uh, new demo that's coming. So, um, yeah, that's gonna definitely put us ahead. This thing, uh, this is this is a beast. This is a forty foot uh, Dagelman Pro Till. Uh, it's the horsepower rating on this is over 600 horsepower so none of the machines that we have on our farm right now are uh capable of doing that not even close so um i think the 340 is the yeah the 340s are biggest i want to say is that true oh no the uh the quad track is oh 480 horse so but yeah it wouldn't it would it would really struggle to pro that or pull that uh that pro till there so while we wait for them to come um still it sounds like they're on time around nine o'clock um we need to get the seed tender filled up again uh, we'll probably get the sprayer out of the way we brought that in last evening we finished up planning around three o'clock yesterday so we had a lot of time uh, a few hours that i wanted to work still so we brought the uh, sprayer in and started getting that ready to go so so the weirdest thing just kind of happened um i got in the sprayer and it didn't have any sound but when you jump in another vehicle the sound would come on like you could hear it from another vehicle and then just magically the sound turned on for me again. That was that was very, very weird. I don't know what just happened there. But whatever. It is what it is. So we'll get uh we'll get some seed in this guy and then uh we'll flip the camera back on probably when these guys are pulling in with the new the new demo. So here she comes. That cherry red Kenworth baby thing is lick. He's he's hauling in here. Look at that. Oof. Ain't that slick? So this is it. This is our demo. A versatile 580 belt track this thing has over I think it's like 630 horsepower or something like that yeah this thing is nuts pretty much fresh off the line too uh, it's a 2022 model um, yeah very very minimal hours but yeah they're giving it to us and we're gonna put some hours on it to give it a test so this is uh this thing is gonna be sweet so we'll chat to the to the driver here and we'll get it unloaded and maybe we'll get we'll get it put to work seed tender is where we want it with seed get get out of the way now so we can uh, get this get this delta track hook up to it really looking forward to giving that a go plus that big old 40 foot speed till holy cow that thing is going to be nuts but the delta track is definitely um, capable that thing is a beast. Probably start in the next field that needs to be uh, fitted. Take a look at the inside. 
fitted with a GPS system. Kind of did a little bit of a zoom call type of a thing, a video call uh, with one of the guys from Western Iowa Equipment um, and he kind of walked us through it a little bit. Um, it's just running tillage, so it's not anything too crazy, really, to be honest. So, um, yeah, we're not, not too uh, worried about it. Um, But, yeah, it's always good to get a little rundown on a new piece of equipment, so you make sure you know what you're doing. Um, it has the uh, hand-controlled speed that you can use there on that joystick. Um, hydraulics there. It's got six there. Needed. Four, four with the main uh, colors, the green, blue, orange, and yellow. Got your lights. Uh... Windshield wipers, uh, different things to change the uh, display. Oh. Get the seat adjustment, throttle, pretty much all your, all your normal stuff there. So biggest thing is probably just going to be figuring out how to get your get that GPS system set up. We're not really used to it, so. Nice and quiet, that's for sure. A lot quieter than the quad track. And these new tracks are going to be very, very nice for running over the rough, the rough ground that we're fitting, so. Get her right up to speed. 25 mile an hour is nice compared to the 17 that the uh, that that quad track goes. So I mean, it's a this is a 22 model. So it's what probably and I don't even know what year that quad track is, but I would uh, definitely over 20 years difference. So yeah, pretty crazy. This is the field we're going to be working in, I believe. I'm going to have to check the map quick. I think it is. Oh, it's actually this field. This field is going to be corn. We do have to fit this one, but we're going to focus on the, uh, the bean fields first. Get her unfolded. Yeah, that's a big old piece of equipment there. <laughs> that's for sure. That thing is noise. We'll start working on getting this GPS figured out. And we'll catch you guys again once we get rolling. So we are rolling. Going at about 9 mile an hour right now. Um, the guy that we chatted with said this uh, disc is rated for about 11 mile an hour. Um, if you have the right horsepower and everything right. Um, but... Yeah, we're, with this being a new piece of equipment, we're going to stick to nine. Nine feels fast enough. Uh, maybe eventually we'll, once we get a little bit more comfortable, we'll, we'll bump her right up to do that 11 miles an hour. 
It's quiet and it's just it's buttery smooth over these over these uh these bumps. These chisel plowed uh ridges is buttery smooth. Couldn't ask for for anything more comfortable than this. Awesome. We're skipping rows here. Ideally, you'd probably want to be on a little bit of an angle, but that kind of didn't, that kind of slipped my mind with everything else that we <laughs> were working with, a new machine, a new implement, new GPS system, all that stuff, so I didn't really even think about setting the GPS on a slight angle. I mean, it's just, just a little, like, five degrees that you want to do, because it breaks it, maybe can break it up a little bit better. Yeah, he's, we're, we're, we're rolling, we're feeling good, this is probably going to take a little bit, well, probably, probably about two hours, um, so, not, not too bad at all, uh, but, yeah, so we're going to keep her going, and we'll catch up with you guys here shortly. finish the up down rows now we're just taking off the headland passes and cleaning up little pieces where we maybe have missed thinking I might be off the track yeah I'm off I made that turn earlier yeah going good um it hasn't taken nearly as long as we thought it would so that's a good thing um once i get done here i'm gonna jump over to the planter and then we're gonna start working on the big field uh we'll probably leave that small field behind the uh behind the farm the main farmyard there uh for last i'm thinking i was gonna start with it but i think we'll just finish with it uh, because we really need to start getting going on that big field. And then we got to get into this field. So I don't 
I don't know how long the big field's going to last or take. I'm hoping we can get through both today, um, but we'll have to see. Essentially, this is it for our uh, corn ground that was chisel plowed that we are fitting for beans. So this, this field here, oh well, yeah, but there is a few fields like this one to the left. I think that might actually be the only one. We'll have to look at the map at some point um, that we did some extra chisel plowing on. So... Yeah, we'll see. But this, the Delta track's gonna, I'm gonna switch out and we're gonna get that going right there in that field to the left of us, so. That's the plan. I can start planting again, so. We'll get this field all finished up and um, as you saw, actually in the short little montage, oh, we're missing that piece right there. That's okay. The planter will be able to handle it, I think. Um, yeah, the montage, we got the uh, 8920 going on the roller. So that is starting to roll our planted bean ground as well. So we got lots of machines going. Um, so, yeah. So we'll catch you here shortly once we get uh, rolling on planting once again. Closing in on about one o'clock now. Been at it for about an hour. Um, we got our two headlands done, and we've done a few of the center rows. Um, as you can see, we're going east and west. Um, I'd like to, ideally, I like to plant the way that we're gonna harvest. You know, you want to harvest with the rows and stuff, all that stuff. Um, and I'm thinking it makes a lot more sense to harvest this field east to west because it is just such a big field north and south. Um, there was a lot of... Like when we're cutting, because we run lands mode when we're... Uh, like lands passes when we're harvesting. It There was a lot of like cut-ins when we're trying to get down the row, right? Um, obviously this is beans, so it might not be as bad because the yields aren't as high as corn. But I'm thinking it just makes sense um, to go east and west in this field, just due to that one reason is it's just a big field and make it easier on ourselves while harvesting, so. Yeah, that's kind of the plan with this field. Um, we had to fill up right after our two headland passes. We ended up running out of seed. <sighs> so that's our only time of refilling on seed yet. Hoping we can get through this field with the amount of seed that we have. Um... We'll be getting another seed delivery April 3, um, because we got to get corn, our corn seed in. I'm really hoping that we can start planting corn April 3. That would be really nice. Um, yeah, I would. it would just be really nice to get the last two bean fields done here today, so... Yeah, we'll see. Um, as you can see, the demo versatile is going at it right now in that field. That is a chisel plowed bean field, actually. Um, so that is going to be going into corn. That field is.
you can see there's a little bit of re remnants of of soybeans um, that's a good thing about course play one good thing about course play is that they do leave little pieces that you can see what crop was in the field easily <laughs> so yep so this field will be end up being corn so this field here and this field here are oh and this one i guess i guess we're going 20 is going to be beans as well i believe um yeah so we actually have three fields but this won't take long at all yeah so hopefully we have enough seed to at least get through this field um i'm not convinced yeah if we don't yeah i guess i guess we probably won't end up being able to get through it all today because we don't have enough seed so we'll probably be doing Continuing on with beans, um, come April 3, um, but I think this is probably going to be the last episode of bean planting, or with bean planting in it, and then we're going to move on to corn. So, we'll probably have two upcoming episodes of corn as well, so, yep. we'll keep at her, and then, uh, we'll probably catch up with you guys here in a wee bit, once we, uh, actually can get or once we can kind of move forward a little bit. Just awful, awful English once again. This is the second attempt, or not attempt, but a second session of recording this episode. So it's always, always kind of difficult because it seems like you're kind of trying to get your... Orient, you're trying to get oriented of where you were, you know, um, at the end of last episode. So, uh, so sometimes I talk a lot of nonsense when uh, I talk a lot of nonsense anyway, let's be real. But when we have, when I can't record a whole episode in one session, it's uh, a little worse sometimes. So, but bear with me. I appreciate all of you that do. So, um, yeah, we'll see you guys here shortly. We just threw the rest of the seed and the tender into the planter. Only about 33%. Drive over our nicely planted ground here. Shut down the tractor. We're going to go back and get this tender refilled. Pulling into the farm now. Going around here and get it backed up to the door. Yeah, I'm slightly worried that we might not have enough seed to even finish that field. I'm not gonna lie to you. But we'll have to see. Especially with this seed box being sunk into the ground, we gotta like sell that off or something at some point, I don't know, because I can't even get to this box behind it. <laughs> it was a view that I wasn't expecting outside of the building. I think this tender takes four, four or five. I always forget. So yeah, we'll have to figure out a way to get the seed out of that that pro box there. I'm not sure. Not sure what we're gonna do quite yet, but we'll get her figured out. Alright. 
What is going on right now? Just some technical difficulties right now getting this box unloaded. So when we get our new seed, we will swap out these boxes. We can return these boxes back to our Pioneer Seed Dealer. That'd be nice. One of them just stacked up the whole time. A little in cab, eh? that one unloaded and then we'll have to get rid of that other box and we can get the one behind it so all right so the tender is full we ended up with 17 percent seed left in the last box that we had was the one that was tucked in behind um, the one that was glitched so we just sold that one that was glitched to get it out of the way oh yeah we'll get back to the field and we'll get planting again we're at about 20% of seed left here in the planter um Probably should top off before we start up near start down the next row. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna last us until we get back to this side. But uh yeah, I think that's probably gonna be where we call this episode. Um Let me know in the comments what you think about the demo. Did we go with the great right choice of brand? Um think we should look at purchasing it um, or yeah just let me know what you think about it I think it's pretty cool um, it freshens up the, the series a bit um, and uh, yeah it's definitely getting through the job quick for us um, making sure that we're not waiting to be stuck or waiting behind our tillage team to uh, to um, continue planting and stuff so yeah so, while we set up to, or just about fill up here, um, just want to say thanks to the uh, YouTube channel members, as always, you guys are awesome, thank you so, so much, the massive uh, blessing that you guys are, are to me, and uh, as well as, I mean, everybody here that uh, watches the videos, it's insane, so... Um, we are very, very close to 5,000 uh, subs at this channel, which is just nuts. That's We're halfway to our goal for the year. Um, <laughs> I think with the rate that we're growing, which has that, uh, significantly slowed down we um, since I started, or actually set that goal. Um, my initial goal was to get to 5,000 this year, um, so if we look at our initial goal we've hit it already which is awesome uh when we were doing the umrv in the richlands ohio series the channel was just booming it was growing so fast um yeah i probably would still be on umrv to be honest if we didn't have so many issues it just killed it just killed that series for me it really did um but yeah so we are we're really close to 5,000. It's it's crazy. I think I think right now we're as of recording this we're at like 4,988 subs, which is it's just crazy. So, um, thank you guys. Uh, that's huge. So, we'll get topped up here. We'll continue to plant, and I will see you in the next video when we do some. Uh, hopefully, we'll probably be on some corn planting then. So, um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.